My name is Ekene Umenwa Obodo. Thank you for watching my beautiful movies on Ekene Umenwa TV. Thank you so much. Keep subscribing. Don't forget, share, like, and comment. Welcome to Ekene Umenwa TV, where you're going to watch educative movies, movies that are very beautiful, movies that will teach you a lot, movies that will touch you. Trust me, if it's not Ekene Umenwa TV, it is nothing. <laughs> God bless you. Something good smells here. Tell me, what's cooking, chef? Mm, I'm just trying to make one or two for us. I hope you will like it too. Honey, uh, are you okay? You, you're looking stressed. What's the matter? I'm okay. I'm trying to fix dinner, that's the matter. I'm very okay. Come on now, look at you. Uh, you don't have to wear that face. What's, what's, what's going on? It's just, uh, it's just dinner, but you acting like there's something more to it. Uh, what kind of rubbish is this one now? What is wrong with me today? Ha! Uh, take, take it easy, take it easy. Uh, sometimes we do have bad days, okay? W would you want me to do this for you? Please, don't help me. I am fine. I just told you I can fix it. I can handle it. Ha! Ha! <sighs> Okay, I, I was just um, try, trying to help. Uh, if you say it's fine, then it's okay. Oh! What is all this now? Just look at the plantain! The plantain is not bones. Why is it that I, I can't get anything right today? What is wrong with me? Maybe listen, listen. It, it's fine, okay? Just let me do this while you... I said I don't need your help! Mike! What is wrong with you? I don't need your help. Can't you get that straight? Go! Ah! Leave me alone. I will fix the food for you to eat. Ah!
Okay. Today seems a bit of an off day for you. What's going on? Nothing. Big nothing. Just tired. Nothing really. I'm tired. Well, you better touch your food. Mm-hmm. I'm touching it now. I mean, you're not eating. Is it not banana I'm holding? Let me start with one first. What's wrong? Is there something you need to talk to me about? Did the kids need to go to school? No. Mm. What's going on? Oh my, it's, it's 7 a.m. already. And the kids can't be late for school. You need to get up and take care of them, please. Um, don't worry yourself now. They can take care of themselves. They're adults. Honey, what are you talking about? What, what do you mean? Look. Listen, let me go downstairs and get them ready. All right, please make sure you, you get ready to go drop them off. Okay? Buddy, you ready? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, uh, this is for you, I think. Yeah, don't forget anything, all right? You have a good day in school today. Oh, boy. Uh, the kids are ready. For goodness sake, what are you still doing here laying down? The kids are getting late. Mike, please now. I'm not feeling too well. Eh? Just leave me alone. Eh? Ah. For God's sake, honey, you know the kids are fond of you taking them to school. And I'm running late for work too. Please. Like it's my responsibility. Huh? Just like every other thing in this house is my responsibility. Baby, what are you talking about? What I am talking about is that I regret ever getting married to you, Mike. I regret it! Ah! You are suffocating me, Mike! What is this? The pressure is too much. You are giving me too much pressure. Ah, bah! Ah! I the first to get married. Baby, what are you saying? For goodness sake, I have done nothing but love you. I have been a good father to the kids and a good husband to you. What is all this? What are you saying? Listen, 
I don't know what's going on with you right now, but whatever it is, we can fix that later. For now, please, the kids need to- Excuse me, don't even start. The kids what? You think you care about me and the kids? You don't care about us. All you care about is your appearance, your suits. The next suits you are going to buy, your tie, everything about you, rubbing a good cream, dyeing your hair, and carrying those your bags and start going to your office to sit down and start writing rubbish. Ah, what is all this? Rest your place, oh. I better say your own rest. I beg don't do you put your alarm in be in this house. Ah, I'm not the only one that gave birth to, to two kids. I think I gave birth to five. They are not kids that. Ha! Avoid me, oh. Did I commit a crime? Eh? Did I commit any crime giving birth to, to two children? After that, I thought it was only one I wanted. I don't know how you got, got me pregnant for the second one. Ha! Oh, God. Hey, Anamaka told me not to get married, though. She warned me. She warned me and I did not listen. Now look at my life. Oh my God, I'm just regretting this marriage. Oh my, please. Please, I beg of you, all right? We can fix our issues later. Whatever it is you want to say, we can talk about that later. But I am begging, I'm pleading with you. Can you please take the kids to school so I can go to work? Please. Now listen kids, daddy will be dropping you off at school today. Is that okay? You ready? Come on baby, let's go. Come on buddy. Let's go. What's going on with her? What's going on inside her head? We've been through so much together. The good times and the tough times. But this, this is different. She's battling with something, something I don't fully understand. And what could that be? What, what could be wrong with her? Mike, you need to tolerate and help her. Yes. I need us now, more than ever before. But how do I help her when I don't even know what's wrong, what's going on? Hey honey, 
What's going on? Why don't you come join us? Family time, huh? I'm fine, thank you. You can go ahead. What's going on? You look distant. So what's the problem? <laughs> I'm fine. I was just lost in thoughts, that's all. All right. Uh, I hope you know you, you're welcome to join us at any time, right? Yes. I know. Thank you very much. Please go ahead. to discuss what I noticed today. Well, what is it you want to discuss? Don't play games with me. Don't pretend like you don't know what I'm talking about. Listen, you told me that you were on your annual leave, but I figured out that you called your office and told them you're not working anymore. How could you do that? Why do you have to control everything? Can't I have some privacy? For God's sake, what is wrong with you? What do you mean by privacy? You lied to me. We're supposed to be a team. And you're here talking about privacy? You think you know everything? You don't even know what you make me go through? Then tell me, Omar. Tell me! That is what you should do! Tell me what's going on with you! Because I, I don't understand you anymore. No matter how much I try to explain to you, you can't get it. I'm gonna listen. I want to understand. I want to help you. But I can't do that without you letting me in. Let me in. What's going on? No matter how much I try, you will not understand. You. You don't get it. You don't understand what you make me go through in this house. You don't understand how hard it is for me. You don't understand what you've done to me. Like how you've been suffering me, the pains, what I'm going through in this house. In short, I regret ever getting married to you. I regret ever walking down to that church to say I do. Honey, listen to me. What did I ever do that hurts you so bad? What, what is it? Just tell me. Let, let's, let's, let's figure it out. I'm ready to apologize. Whatever it is, just tell me. What did I ever do? Why, why, why are you hurting like this? Huh? Amma, please wait. It's not now, please. No one knows how I feel. I'm drowning, I'm drowning, I'm drowning I wish that this can fade away Don't know what is wrong with me When I see my kids, I feel so bad Oh, I don't wanna take a look at them See them all around. Honey, please, can we talk? Look, I, I, I want to know what I did wrong. I want to know what I did to you that is making you go through this, this level of pain, this level of frustration. Please.
Oh, my listen, I... I know a lot has changed lately. You've been distant. I just want to know what's going on with you. Listen, honey, I, I want to be a part of it. I want you to share with me so we can fix this. Please. Like, like it's a lot. You... Listen, I... <laughs> Mama, look, look, I, I'm not trying to upset you, okay? I, I just want us to talk about this. I, I just want us to work it out. I, I mean, I'm not happy in seeing you like this. Uh, whatever it is, we can, we can sort it out. And I... Guys, what's, what's, what's going on? Why, why are you looking like this? Why the face? What's going on in your mind? Mom doesn't come out to play with us anymore. What does she care about us? <laughs> okay, hold on, let me join you. Okay. Uh, yes, here we go. Okay. Come here. Listen, your mom cares about you. I mean, don't even think about it. You you are her ward. You should know that. But she's always in her room and look really sad. Oh, my baby. Listen, sometimes I don't go through difficult times too. Okay? And your mommy, she's... She's dealing with something right now that is making her a little bit, just a little bit different. Okay? Different? How? <sighs> you see, buddy, it's, um... Sometimes, people's mood and feeling changes. Just like when you're having a bad day. Uh, but unfortunately, it seems your mommy has been having a few more bad days. Hmm? But I tell you what, she'll be fine. Is mom sick? Um, not really, my baby. You see, it's just... It's, it's just a feeling of sadness, okay? But guess what? She'll be better. She will be fine very soon. And she might just need a little time and space to figure things out, that's all. Is she going to be okay? Yes, buddy. Mommy will be fine. Okay, she just need a little time to figure things out, that's all. Okay. Right. But I miss playing with mom. Oh, my baby. Mm. And I bet she miss playing with you too. Mm. We love mom and we'll be patient. Such is my baby. Great. I hope she won't smell like this. She definitely will. Huh? That's my boy. Alma. Alma, what's, what's going on? What's wrong with you? You can't sleep. I don't know. I can't calm down. My heart won't stop raising. All right, <clears throat> listen, I, I understand not being able to sleep at night sometimes can be tough, okay? But let's try something different, okay? I, I want you to take a deep breath. Let's, 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 let's do this differently, okay? Take a deep breath. Ah! What is wrong with you? Can't you listen to what I just said? I said leave me alone. I didn't want to detect for me what to do. Ha! Respect yourself, fool. Mama, for God's sake, I, I'm not trying to upset you. I, 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 oh, I, I, God! Oh, God! Ah! Which part can't you understand? Avoid me, 
leave me alone. Ah! Whoa! I don't even know what's wrong with you. It's not your gun shift. Somebody on the door. You are not allowing me to sleep now. Ah! Ah! Look, we can't keep doing this. We can't continue like this. Our mood and our relationship, how we live in this house is beginning to affect our kids. Omar. Come on, Omar, pick up your call. Hello? Um, <clears throat> hi, Omar. I, I got a series of debit alerts on my phone. What, what's going on? It is not a bunch of debit alerts. It's just two debit alerts. Huh? I just went to buy some few things. What do you mean? What do you mean shopping spray? For God's sake, we, we can't keep spending like this. We have bills to pay. We, we have responsibilities to take care of. There's a lot to, to be done with money than just, you know, going on, on a shopping spray. Mike, I work so hard, though. I work so hard, so I deserve to treat myself well. Look, I understand that. Matter of fact, I think we need to talk about this face to face, please. Fine. We will talk face to face when you come home. Ah, bye bye. No, you will talk face to face. You are still calling me. Uh -uh. How much did I spend, Bono? Just small money. This bag, this one is 150. This one is 150. Okay, no, this one is um, this one is 250. Eh? Now they say it's Versace. 
250, 150. This is so beautiful. Look, Omar, we need to talk about all of this. We need to talk about all this reckless spending. It's becoming too much. It's becoming a real issue. Is this about me? Mike, oh, this is about your reckless spending with your side chicks. Jesus Christ. Well, what is wrong with you? I mean, how could you say that to me? You know that's not true. Of course it's not true now. Yes, it is not true. Look at you, a perfect picture of a responsible and honest man. Clap for yourself. Oh, um, Omar. <laughs> What is wrong with you? I work hard every day to provide for this family. You stand here and tell me this? Mike, what about me? Am I not trying? Am I not contributing in this family? This is not about who contributes more. For goodness sake, all I'm asking is for us to be on the same page. Don't you get it? What page are you talking about, bros? Which page? The page where you control everything. Is that what you're talking about? God's sake, Alma, all I am doing is trying to secure the future for us, for you, for me, hey. for the kids. For goodness sake, not waste money on unnecessary spending. Oh! Oh! Ah! Is that who is okay now? That's the problem with you, Mike. You do not ever listen. You can never listen. Mom, Dad, what's going on? Um, um listen, kids, it's nothing, okay? Eh? It's just, um, we, we, we were discussing what the way adults talk, uh, it's, are... it's nothing serious. Hi, you can lie. You. He can. Okay, you cannot tell your children the truth. Because you saw your children, now you change math. That it is what? Tell them now. Tell them they are suffering their mother. Come on, how much? How much? Kwanu? How much? This bag is coming at 200,000. This one is not the, it's not the original Versace. The original one is 1.5 million naira. This one is 200,000 naira that I bought and you are complaining. Are there no men that are buying it for their wife? 1.5 for the original one. Did you buy it for me? I went for the second hand and you are still complaining. Ah, men. How much is money? How much is money that you are complaining? Honey, you've got some crazy carrot filling skills, I must confess. Thank you very much. <laughs> wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Um, I don't think you're going to do them. Oh no, please, baby, stop. Stop, please. Stop, you're not going to do this today. Please. Okay, please, man. Can I have some? Huh? Better. Please. 
No, 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 no. No, you feel me? Give me uh closer. Wait, don't be in your hair, Sam. <laughs> Please, I have to make dinner. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> no, no, don't drop that one. <laughs> <laughs> You think you're the only one that likes carrots? Wait, 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 wait. I, don't, I don't like it. So nah, why? Uh, 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 I'm, just, I'm just trying to make it easier. Make, just just to make it easier for you. <laughs> Let me just concentrate. Please, the kids are hungry. Stop now. Ah. Mm, mm, I was I was thinking I should stay with you so we can do mm, this. No, together. you're good. You're distracting me. Mm? Yes, you're distracting me. I beg you, baby. I don't, okay, don't worry. I'll join you soon. No, but don't worry. No, I'm leaving you here. Okay, now. let me just make let me just make finish making this salad and I'll be done. Okay. So what you're saying now, I should leave you and go to Just leave, I'm sorry. Please, my love, my baby, I'm, please. I want I'm begging you, please. I'm begging <laughs> Mike! <laughs> Did it. Ha. <laughs> Let I me mean, look at this, look at this. Thank you very much. Oh, Madam. <laughs> you choose the best no, movies. Not well, I aim to movie. please. <laughs> How much is the money? Check your phone, you receive an alert. I like this part. I like this <laughs> part. Watch. <laughs> Me too. I need to give you my account details. So, how where did you send this thing? Turn off the gate. One turn off the gate. Find a valuable asset. Hmm. And I hate people. Hmm. Hmm. Check this out. Check this out. See, 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 see. Bam. Right there, right there. This woman is so <laughs> mysterious. <Huh>? Yeah. <laughs> She's so mysterious. I love this. I love this. Um, baby, please, can you read this? Oh, sure, sure. Welcome, Honey, I just want to say thank you for being the best part of my life. You're welcome. Same here, my darling. See, 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 I want you to see this. She's gonna do it again. Just watch. Just watch this. She's gonna she's gonna do it again. She'll do it again. If this is how people come to the hotel, nobody's going to watch. <laughs> I bet you nobody will. Watch my BS, watch my BS. I should watch your BS. What about this? Oh, uh-uh. <laughs> Thank you. Honey, okay, well, look, I look. Said, look, look, honey, look, look, look. You She's gonna do it again. She's doing it again. Oh man, where did we miss it? How, how did we miss this? Where, where did things went wrong? Where, how did we go wrong? How? You know, you're my favorite song, Mama. And you are the melody in my heart. <laughs> And I will dance with you forever. And I will gladly spend eternity in your arms. Some uh, uh, what? It will 
will find our way back. We will make this work again. You and I. Hey, Mike. You called. You said it was urgent. Yes, yes. I'm. I'm glad you made it. Look, look, Omar has changed. I, I needed to talk to someone. I needed to talk to you. That's why I called you. Okay. Yes. Her emotions are everywhere. She don't even care about the kids anymore. She doesn't look after them. And she keeps saying she regret having them. Can you believe wait, that? Wait. Her own kids? Unbelievable, right? Yes. Omar now spends lavishly. She don't, she, 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 I mean, she, she spends without even having need for those things that she's buying. She's become a totally different person and, and I don't know what to do. I have asked her to let me in, tell me what's going on. She wouldn't let me. Mike, this is really serious. Way serious than I thought. Um, I appreciate you so much for opening up to me about this. But my sister, my sister has been under a lot of stress lately, that I know. But with everything you're describing about her, it doesn't add up. But not to worry, I am here now and trust me, everything is sitting properly. Alright? Just calm down and we'll take it slowly. Look, 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 Lucy, I thank you. Let me thank you first for, you know, showing up in the first place. But the thing is, we miss her. Her family misses her. My, my, I miss her. That is not, this is not the Oma I, I, I go married to. Whatever it is you, you know you can do, however you can do it, just please go ahead. Because I, 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 I don't know. I, I don't know what to do anymore. I am willing and ready to apologize for whatever it is that, 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 that is making her feel this way. Whatever it is I may have done, I'm ready to apologize, but she wouldn't let me in. So please. It's fine. Just, I... Talk to her, do whatever you can. I promise you, I will do just that. All right? Thank you. I noticed that things have been so different. You are being so distant. And I can tell that something is bothering you. Tozi and Simdi, they need you. They need your care, your love, and your attention. Don't you dare teach me how to be a mother. Don't you dare! I'm not teaching you how to be a mother, sis. I'm only letting you know that your children, your family, they want you. And they love you so much. Love? Did you say love? Dozier and Cindy here are a constant reminder of a life that I lost. I regret everything. I regret it so much. Um, sis, you have a beautiful family. You do. Your children, your husband, believe me, they are a huge blessing. Sis, I don't know what the problem is, but please, you have to open up. I am here, you have to talk to me. Whatever it is that is bothering you, we go through difficult moments. Everybody loves you. And you know, I love you so much. Sis, no, don't do this, you're making me emotional right now. Your husband, you need to open up to him. And trust me, whatever it is, Mike is ever ready to apologize. He is. I will stand with you no matter what. Whatever the problem is, just be ready to share. Talk to me when you talk to your husband. Daddy! Daddy. Hey. How are you, buddy? Welcome. Oh, great. 
The hero is here. Just what I wanted. Oh my, what, what, what's wrong? Everything is going on. Oh. Everything is wrong. I despise you. You irritate me. You are suffocating me. Sis, let's try. Excuse me. Get out. Who are you to interfere? I said get out. Get us. Oh, kids, come. Um. Let's just go inside, all right? Let's go to your room. And use that way you touching me. Please, let's, let's talk about this. Whatever it is, I am ready. Let's talk about it. Mike, get out. Get lost! Mike, get out! I said, oh! I said, get out! I'm telling now that you get out! Get out! Get out! Just get out! Oh, uh, yes, Jukes. But listen, we can still have this meeting over the, the Zoom app. It's, it's possible. I mean, we can do it comfortably on the Zoom. No, no, I mean, I, only for the fact that you believe this is the only way to make it work. That's all. It's all right, Jukes. I, I, I appreciate the opportunity, okay? But please, give me time. I need to think about the logistics and all the preparations, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Yes, please. Thank you. I completely understand the potential benefits of this contract. Oh, my thoughts are clouded. Clouded by the, the recent consign in my home. How am I supposed to, to leave Omar and the kids in this, in this situation? Huh? How, how, do I, how do I leave Omar with the kids, considering how she has been behaving lately? I can't do this. Hey, Mike. Mr. Mike. What happened? Crazy. Uh, what's um, happening? Hope everything's all right. Crazy. I, I just have a lot on my mind. Just, <laughs> just a lot going on here. <laughs> it's obvious. It looks like you're carrying the whole world in your head. Is this something you would like to talk about? <coughs> Look, Chris, you, um, you, you know this contract I have with Chokes? Yeah. It's a big one. Yeah. And now it requires me to travel to Abuja for yeah. a meeting. Problem is, uh, my home is not settled. Is it about Omar? Yes, it, it's about Omar. Look, her behavior is, is becoming erratic by the day. And now I'm, I'm, I'm really worried. How, how can I leave Oma with the kids? Hey, Mike, family comes first in everything. And um, it's not something we should overlook. But this, uh, this opportunity now, this is your Abuja contract. I believe it's something that could turn your life around and also the life of your family members. And I don't think it's something you should just overlook. Hmm? I know, I, I know, right, Chris, I do. Hmm. I know, but it's just that it's tough for me at home. I can't even explain it. it it's hard. I don't know how I'm going to leave Omar and the kids and, you know, to travel to Abuja. Mike, always know that uh, I'm here for you anytime. Just always know that I got your back. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. It's all right, bro. 
It's all right. Thank you. It's all right. Just try and take it easy and uh, don't forget. Hmm? Don't forget. Always know we got your back and anytime. Hmm? Feel free. That's my mind. Try and be strong, man. It's all right. Be strong, not Thank you. Hmm? Thank you. Um, There's, there's something I would like to discuss with you. What is it, Mike? Um, I, I have been offered the contract in Abuja. And judging by all standards, I have every reason to believe this is going to be a game changer for our future. Hence, I have to make the trip. Oh. Really? That's nice. Abuja. What about the kids? Exactly. Exactly why I, I, I wanted to talk to you. Look, Omar, I, I know things have been difficult lately. For you, for everybody. And I have to make this trip. So I was, I was, I was wondering, I, I was, uh, I was hoping if you could take care of the kids while I'm away. Hmm? That's not a problem, I will take care of them. But look, if, if, if it's going to be a challenge for you, I don't mind calling your sister Lucy to come give you a hand, you know. I said I would take care of my kids. Why bring my sister in? I will take care of my children. Oh. Honey, are you, are you sure about this? I, I just want us to be on the same page. Uh, if you know you can do this or you cannot do it, just... Mike, what is the problem? I said I would take care of my children. Have I not been the one taking care of them? I gave birth to them so I can take care of them. Okay, very, very, very well then. It, it's fine. I just, I just wanted to be sure it's okay. Dad. Yes, buddy. Are you really going for three days? Yes, buddy. I I have a work trip to Abuja. It's just gonna be for a few days. But who will take care of us? Yes, Dad. Who will take care of us? Well, um, you say you won't be alone, okay? Um, I've made sure everything will be taken care of. I promise. What do you mean, Daddy? Okay. Um, first off, uh, the school bus will be picking you up and dropping you off after school from now on. Okay, and every other thing, your mom will be here to take care of them. All right? Okay, okay. Nice. But, Dad, I must be acting real strange lately. <sighs> yes, I know. Okay. I know things have been a little rough and tough with everybody in this house. But you see, I I had a discussion with your mom and she has promised that she would do everything within her power to make sure you guys are good, to take good care of you while I'm away. Okay? Okay. Really, Daddy? Yes, baby. Absolutely, sweetheart. Okay? Look. <clears throat> You can call me anytime, any time of the day, whenever, and I will make sure that I 
make out time to talk with you. All right, and don't forget, don't forget, you can always call your auntie, Auntie Lucy. All right, if you need anything at all. Okay, Daddy. Great. I love you, Daddy. And I love you too. I love you, buddy. Come here. Come here. Great. That's me. Hey, you'll be fine, okay? Okay. All right. I can see you two are ready for school. Yes, Daddy. Come on, let me join you. We are going to have a great day. Yes. And we are going to be strong, just like you said. Lovely. Lovely. Look, I believe in you. You're strong. Look at you, my baby. You're beautiful and smart. Now, I want you to promise me one thing. That you'll be good for your mom and why I'm gone. We'll take care of each other. That's my boy. We promise, Daddy. Such is my daughter. Excuse me. Really? Honey, I, I want you to take care of them for me. Okay? They need you. Please. That is not a problem, my love. I will take care of them. I am their mother. I gave birth to them. I will. I've been doing that, so you don't need to worry. Yeah, you've been doing that. Um, thank you. I know you can. I know you will. I will take care of them. You just have to be relaxed. Travel in peace. I will take care of them. I promise you. Thank you. Look, I'll be back before you know it. Daddy will be back before you know it. Oh, miss you. Yes, honey. Bless you. Yes. Okay, see you. I love you guys. Yeah. Come, come. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Okay, look at this. I don't want to say anything. Easy. This mess. Well, you were just playing. This is a tornado, hit it! You were playing! Oh, I'm sorry. You are sorry? Who among you is sorry? You are sorry! You too, you are sorry! Eh? You want to make me miserable in this house! Your father traveled and left you to here to keep me miserable, B. You want to frustrate me? Did I kill my mother? Did you hear that I killed my mother? So two of you want to kill me? I should be taking care of you. Just, just, just imagine, eh? Your father is somewhere now with his side chick, enjoying his life, and you two say you want to kill me. I did not kill my mother, so two of you cannot kill me. You cannot kill me at all. You want to frustrate me? You cannot frustrate me in this house. I will be the one that will frustrate. Wait, what are you doing? Okay. Dozier, what are you doing? Okay. You are trying to call your father. No, I'm not calling anyone. You want to report me to your father, Abby? Give me, give me. You, you. So you wanted to report me to your father? No, no, This boy, no, you wanted to report me, does he? No, he said, please. Just that. Oh, you wanted to report me to your father? No. You wanted to report me? To your father? No. You wanted to report me? My friend, if I say, if I open my hand, close it there, two of you should carry your two left legs. Oh, yeah, go to your room. Get out and go to your room. If you come out from that room, eh? If you come out from that room, eh? Till tomorrow morning. I don't want to send off your ass. I, I said I don't want to see your little food. Look at how they look like witches and wizards. I don't even know how I was the one that better you people. All your mates, they are robot people, they are fine. They are robots. Don't just, just, just look, look, look at these two dry fish. Eh? Look at how they look like pesu. Nonsense. Mm. 
Cindy, can you fix the phone? I'll try, Cindy. So, how are we going to talk to Daddy? The screen is completely shattered, and there's nothing I can do about it. So, how are we going to talk to Daddy? Cindy, we won't lose hope. Let's just try. There may be another way to fix it. Okay, Jose, figure it out. Pancake today. Yeah, we scrambled eggs. I'm taking a long time today. I'll go check on her.
Mom? Mom, please, we're ready for school. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Go, leave me alone. Mom. Did mom come? No. She's still in her room. Okay, you know what, Cindy? We'll make breakfast ourselves. in this house. Then, if we don't, this doesn't make sense. So why don't we just take bread to school and while at school, we ask our teacher to call dad for yeah, us. Yes, that is fine. Look at this thing. Wow, this meal that ordered for us is so delicious. Wow, yeah, this is awesome. So what? You so what? The father ordered food for you people. Sport children. You people are so sport for my liking. So your father ordered food and they brought it to your school and you had the cost to bring it to my house to eat. <laughs> oh, if I see any crumbs, eh, if any crumbs fall on this table, Makachi, I will enjoy you. I will deal with the two of you and you will not believe that I gave back to you. Bet it, just try and scatter this table. Nonsense. Your father is buying food for you, Po. He ordered food for you. Look at me now. I'm a chimpanzee. 
Your father cannot order food for me now. I'm a log of food. With your father that used to do his head like, like a pure mango. Just get to this place now and see what I will do to you. What bitch? What sense? What kind of nonsense shit is this one? Eh? You are the ones that are doing food for you. of movies before and cartoons. I can't remember. Okay, hold on, we need to get you inside. Okay, Cindy. You'll be okay, Cindy. Just take it easy. Let me get you some. Let me get you some water. You're seriously bleeding, Cindy. Let me call mom. Please, Cindy is still bleeding. Please, mom, she needs your help. I told you not to disturb me. Deal with it yourself. Ah, what is wrong with your children? She needs your help. 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 She I play with adults, I don't play with small children. Where is mom? She's not coming, Cindy. What do we do now? I guess we'll take care of each other just like we always do. How's your wound now? It's fine. Pick up your phone. Come on, come on.
speak up one time, please. How are you doing? Um, hello Lucy, how are you? Uh, Is everything alright? Lucy, I can't say that actually. I, I I want to speak with Omar, I want to speak with the kids, but I can't get through to her. She's not taking her calls. I mean, I just want to talk with her kids. She, she wouldn't let me. Huh? Okay, I'll go over there first in the morning. I will check on the kids and see what's going on. Oh, please do that for me. Please do that for me. For for, for for some weird reasons, I I I just feel something is wrong. I can't place it. Uh, the, the much I can do is talk with them on the phone, but I, Omar, Omar is not taking her course. Uh, please do that for me and I'll be so grateful. Don't worry, Mike. I'll be there early and we'll figure out what's going on. Just try and get some rest for now. It's all right, Lucy. Right. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Up. Cindy, Cindy, wake up. Cindy, wake up. Cindy, 
wake up. Same D. Same D. I'm not playing wake up. Wake up. Mom! Same D, wake up! Mom! Please open up! Send is not breathing, please help! Mom, please, you need to come see. Come and help. Don't you see me? I swear to God, I will change this for you too. I will do that. I'm going to get to the end of my mom. Mom, please. please. <laughs> mom, please. Yeah. It's Auntie Lucy. Open the front door. Does it open the front door? It's Auntie Lucy. Okay. <laughs>
It's just like a bad dream. She's really gone. I know, son. I know. I know. I tried, Dad. I tried to save her. I remember everything about my first aid lessons, but it didn't work. I don't listen, buddy. Come here. Yes, you tried. Okay, it's not your fault. You did great. You did better than most people would have. Look, the doctor said she had an internal bleeding of the brain. That was what led to her death. You did well, okay? But that was my best friend. I miss her. Yes, I know you miss her. I miss her. Everyone misses her. But look, you, you, you did great. It's not your fault, okay? How it happened. I did not even hear anything. I didn't know the door was knocking. I didn't know what was happening. I didn't know they would be trying to get to me. I did not know. You didn't know what happened. Oma, you didn't know that your own daughter needed medical attention. You didn't know. You didn't know that your daughter needed help, Oma. Please, Mike. Mike, please, I'm begging you. Please, I. I... I, I should have listened to you. I should have listened to everybody. I let my daughter down. I let her down. Yes, you did, Oma. You let her down. You let me down. You let the entire family down, Oma. Your actions have consequences. Grave consequences, Oma. <laughs> I, I called you all night. Oma, I called you all night. Severally, I texted you, literally pleading. Listen to me. I have never touched you before. Don't let me start today. Because I will kill you. I will. Mike, I'm sorry. Mike, please, it's not me. I'm not the, I'm not the, I'm not the cause of all this. I'm sorry. Please, let me make it up. I will make it up. Forgive me. Forgive me, please. I will make it up. It's not me. Oh. I'm gonna leave my house. Mike. I can't have someone like you here anymore. Leave my house. Hey, Lucy, they are driving me out. Oh, it's the people, please. Please, Mike, I need help. It's some people that used to talk to me in my head. Please, Mike, I need help. Let me say it once and for all. I need help, please. But you should have thought about all these things. <laughs> what has those children ever done to you? It's not that I don't I'm sorry. They are innocent. They did nothing wrong to you. I'm sorry, I did not know. It's those people that used to talk to me. Plenty of people that used to talk to me like I one minute, I'm angry, one minute, I'm happy. You wait for my divorce papers. I can't have you here. No. Not after what you've done. Don't divorce me, please. It's not me. My child just died. You can't divorce me. Please. Mike, can I talk to you? Mike, I'm begging you. <laughs> they, 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 my child has died. They want to divorce me. You caused it. It's, it's not me. It's those people. It's those people. I, to tell you. I don't know. Two minutes I'm angry. Second minute I'm okay. I don't mean, so know what is wrong with me. <laughs> I want you. Oh, you don't used to listen. I don't used to know. I didn't know who here when I heard in the ground. I didn't mean I heard it go. I would have gone there. I didn't know here.
I am sorry, baby. I am sorry. I let you down. I should have known better. I should have known better not to leave you with Omar. Look at you. You were beautiful, smart. You were full of life. So full of life. Your smile was everything. I should have been here. I should have been there when you needed me the most. I should have been there to hold your hands. I am sorry. I am sorry. I would do everything. Everything within my power to one of your memories. It protect the ones that I love. To protect those here. For you, baby. For you. to talk. Is Dozier okay? Yes, he's fine. He's perfectly well. Alright. Mike, this this is about my sister, Oma. Of course I know that what she did is absolutely wrong. And there is no justification whatsoever. But please I, I need you to forgive her. Let's go and look for her. You know, she doesn't have any other place to go to. I beg you. Let's see, I don't want to get mad at you. Let this be the last time you ever mention her name in this house. A woman who was careless enough to watch her own child die. To watch my own daughter die. Cindy was also her child. She lost a child. Now listen to me. Your mom is dead to me. She is dead to me. I don't want to have this conversation again. Talk about what? 
Chris, you're welcome. Thank you, Mike. Appreciate you for coming. It is fine. Mike, how have you been holding up? Honestly, my brother, I... <laughs> I am trying. What can I do? I have to be strong for those, yeah? I'm doing the much I can, the much that is expected of me. Yeah, uh, it's true. Yeah, talk of those, yeah. Um, how is he holding up to? My brother. Dozier has been spending more time in his room, clinging to Simdi's toys. Honestly, it, it bothers me. I don't know how to get him out of that mode. Eh? I, I worry for that boy. Yeah. I can imagine what the young man is passing through. Now, um, I think this time around, he needs lots of support system. Even you too. Well, a big thank you to Lucy. Lucy has, she has been a shoulder, she has been a rock. As a matter of fact, if not for her, I wonder what I would have done. Uh, she has been the one helping through with the whole, you know, house chores, supporting me, taking care of Dozie. Come to think of it, let me ask you one question, Mike. What is that? Uh, do you even pray to God? Oh, Chris, not again. You, you've come with this, your Christianity story again. Not today, please. This is not the right time for this conversation, eh? please. Ah. Hey, <laughs> Mike. You know, uh, um, in everything we do in this life, we we'll have to put God first. And uh, I notice that you don't even involve your family in any religious activities. You know, so everything we do in this life, we should put God first. You know, and I believe that if if you pray very well to God, He will intervene in this your situation. So, my friend, come on. <laughs> Tell Chris, you, you you believe, Chris, that if I start reading my Bible, or probably joining some church activities or whatnot. You know, automatically my my life and everything would just turn around. <laughs> you, yeah? you, I don't even need to tell you, you know my story. Uh, you know my story, so I should not even start telling you right now. But let me, I think I have something for you. Um, <laughs> Mike, just have this. Read it and make it your closest companion. You know, believe in me, if you start reading this every day and pray to God with it, God will answer every request that you place on his table. And if this is your problem, he will intervene. Thank you, Chris. It's thank fine. you for coming to see me and also thank you for this. It's fine. It's fine, my guy. You know, I always tell you that I got your back mm, anytime. Mm. You are my friend and the family also. But what I have to tell you is also you just have to be very prayerful, huh? Thank just you. Be I very will. prayerful, Mr. Mike. Um, I appreciate you for it's coming. Fine, bro. It's fine, man. Anytime, anytime. <laughs> mm. I have to be going. Mm. Thank you very much. Be strong for your family. I will. My coat! Thank you, brother. <laughs> I'll see you at the office. See you, man. <clears throat> Dad, hi, what are you doing? I'm just reading the Bible, buddy. I haven't seen you reading the Bible before. I know. And I'm sorry that I haven't included God in our family affairs. But guess what? I'll get you a Bible too, so we can study together. Yes. Dad, I know about the Bible. They teach me in my school. Really? And I know about our Lord's Prayer too. Is that so? Let me hear it. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom.
Just pushing me, driving me. How can I kill the child that I born? How many people can kill the child that they born in their belly? Mm. They say it's me that I kill my child. How? Ah, when were they not there? Uh, were you not there when these people were talking to me? What did you tell them? I, I was when plenty people were talking in my head, what did you say to them? You were looking at them, they were making noise. Oh my God, let's when go. they were knocking in my door, I thought it's, I didn't know who was knocking. I said, leave me, leave me, leave me. The thing is to make my door yes, is to I like know. anybody around oh me. Oh I don't like it. Please, let's I go. I beg, please leave me alone. Let's you were go. there when they, then they, for showed me. Now you are coming to say, let's go. Go where? Oh my, let's go. Go where? Yeah, you know that when the people are talking to me in my head. You know how many people that used to talk to me in my head? Oh my. You cannot raise me. Oh. Hey. You cannot raise me. I'm like Tifa that carries Sando. You cannot raise me. My name is Gogoro. If you push me, I if know. you raise me here, yeah, let me win. I know. You I can't raise me. I have to wait. That's one thing. Look at you, Scarlet, one of break. You want to raise me. Don't be doing that kind of I don't like it. Why these people talking to me in my head? You should be telling them not to talk to me. They are too much. How can I know who is talking oh, yeah, now? Sorry. They are talking, sorry. no, 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 plenty of people are talking. How can I know? Not the worst hey. is that you are just trying your luck. My sister, stop that rubbish. I don't hey. like it. Avoid me, please. Avoid me. Does he need you? Oh, man. My problem is too much. That is why I have weight. Ah, thank God. That is thank why God. I'm here. here. I know what's weighing oh, me down. Problem that weighed me down. They say I kill my Pekin. No, you didn't. How can I carry Pekin in my belly? No, you did not kill anybody. Did I don't like this kind of accusation. You are kidding me, innocent. They were there. They were talking to me. You did not kill anybody. Let him people talk to me, Chris. You did not kill anybody. No. I, I came immediately, my sister in law called me. Oh, yes. How is she? You know what? I gave her a sedative to calm her down. I don't really know what's going on, but I would like my friend, a psychiatrist, to see her. What do you mean, a psychiatrist? What for? She was erratic and violent when your sister in law and friend brought her in here. So I just want to cover all bases medically. So let her just see the psychiatrist, please. Okay. 
Okay, that sounds good. Okay? Please just do whatever you know is necessary, okay? You have no problem. Thank you so much. It's all right. Thank you. Yeah. You can go see her. All right, she's let me She's sleeping, though. Okay. <laughs> no one cares to understand the way you feel inside. I never knew your reasons that made you change this way. Now I know. The psychiatrist has made his diagnosis and as I suspected, your wife is suffering from what we call bipolar disorder. What exactly does that mean? Um, bipolar disorder is a disorder um, that is associated with episode of mood swings ranging from depressive lows to manic highs. And what's the cause of this, doctor? Anything, anything. Can be stress related, um, can be from physical abuse, sexual abuse, mental abuse. It can also be hereditary. Um, it can also be from work or from a relationship problem, money problem, anything at all. Honestly, I, I never thought of this. I mean, I never could have imagined she was going through an episode like this. You couldn't have known. Okay, w what can be done about it? What we're going to do now is I'm going to make an appointment with the psychiatrist. Then he's going to put her on antipsychotics and she will also go for psychotherapy. I think this will manage, manage it for her. Don't worry about it. People living with this disorder, they can live a happy life as far as they are taking their medication. Um, thank you very much, doctor. I appreciate your effort and everything you are doing. Eh? It's all right. It's all right. It's thank you. Yeah. Thank every one of you for your support and your love towards me and my family during these trying times. Lucy, thank you. Thank you so much for your time and your support. Thank you. It, it's all right. I mean, we're one big family. And anything I would do for myself, I would do just that for my sister. So it's nothing. I appreciate you. Chris, <laughs> my brother, my friend, thank you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for everything. Thank you for standing by me. And thank you, most importantly, for leading me back to Christ. <laughs> it's nothing, bro. That's what I always tell you. You know, I always got your back. So, it's nothing, man. Hmm? I appreciate you greatly, brother. Uh, it's fine. It's fine, man. And to you, my darling, Alma. I, I am sorry. I am sorry for not paying attention to your frustrations and your pain. I, I am sorry that I was oblivious of what you were going through. I should have known better. I should have acted differently. I should have, I should have seek for a solution. I am sorry. Please forgive me. You don't need to ask for my forgiveness. You didn't know what I was going through. You couldn't have known. 
But thank God my medications is helping me out now. I'm much better now. Okay. Thank God for that. Thank you so much, Lucy, for your support. You are the best sister anyone can have. Thank you. It's all right. It's fine. I'm glad you're getting better now. Chris, thank you so much. It's nothing, madam. Hmm? It's nothing, no. It's nothing. Your husband here is my very good friend, so... I just want to ask for your forgiveness. Please find a place in your heart to forgive me. Dozier, please forgive me, your mother. I am not a bad mother. Just that I was passing through something beyond me. Thank you. It's okay, honey. I I mean I should be grateful to God that we're still together as a family. That's the most important thing. Regardless of what we've been through, we're here now. It's alright. Everything will be alright. Thank you. Tosia, I'm sorry. I promise to be a better mother. Okay. Okay. It's a happy moment and uh, it's good to hand it over to God. Um, this big family, we are all here once again to celebrate you guys. In the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. Amen. All the pain you feel inside. Understand the way you feel inside. I never knew your reasons that made you change this way. Now I know that it's not your fault. I've come here to say I will stay with you in the middle of the storm. The storm is over till the storm is over. I will stand by you and heal with you. I am going nowhere. This I promise to you. Point at them without knowing what they go through. I'll be here for you anytime, any day, no matter how long it takes you to heal. This is a journey, I'll walk it with you today and forevermore. 